Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I do have in here, it is not a recent game, although I haven't tested before with the GTX 1650 Super, it is the NBA 2K20. So this game it is developed by the Visual Concepts and it is using their in-house technology. So Visual Concepts it's uh, well known for some of their 2K games available and this is the graphical settings which I'm running the game. So I'm playing the game with 1080p ultra settings and I'm using an abusive amount of MSAA which is 8 times MSAA over the existence TAA that this game features so as you can see 8 times anti amazing level this is MSAA but overall this is completely insane this is just to show you off that at 1080p you can use stuff like this uh, to max out your graphic card if you want. So looking to the requirements, you can see that the recommended requirements for this game it is an FX CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, and then NVIDIA GTX 770 or an AMD Radeon R9 270, 2 gigabytes or better. So all these requirements, we are a bit above the recommended requirements easily. So looking to the results, I decided to test the game with uh, two more older settings. So aside from the 1080p maximum settings, uh, which is ultra plus eight times multi sampling and TV using when I got an average of 90 frames per second and the 1% of 67. I also tested the game with 1440p using the i settings, all right, and no MSAA because the game already features TAA. I got uh, even a better performance, so an average of 106 frames per second and the 1% of 74. And if you want to play at 4K above 60 frames per second, you need to play at median settings. Uh, the median settings it is quite respectable, but you still lose some of the the perks on graphics. Like for example, ambient occlusion, depth of field during cutscenes are lost if you play at 4K. So whatever, if you go with 1440p using high settings and no MSA, or 1080p using maximum settings and eight times multi sampling and TV using both of those two choices are the way to go. So if you have a 1440p screen you can easily play this game above 60 frames per second by using the high preset. So, very good news, the game it is not that demanding at all, which is uh, very good news in fact. As for the game itself, the good news ends here, unfortunately. So, the game it is expensive, as expected, uh, all sports games usually are expensive. But the, the problem it is not the fact that it is expensive or not. It is really the fact that this game it is riddled with microtransactions that forces the player to grind like the entire life to get something useful for the game or for the career mode. That's why on Steam reactions from the fans are a little bit mixed up because people are not complaining about the game itself. People are usually complaining the, the about the... The microtransactions, the online experience, you know, that's probably not the best thing. And this is something that comes from uh, other NBA titles as well. I mean, the predecessors, the uh, NBA 2K19 are ever, uh, already suffered from this issue, but uh, 2K seems to not care and they continue to still use this type of uh, shady tactics to monetize their game, which is already too expensive. <laughs> So, I think this usually happens a lot with sports games, I'm not really sure why this happens, but I believe that this is mostly, it comes mostly because people continue to buy their games, whatever the the stuff that they put into their games, and, well, I think that's, that's about that, the issue. So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about NBA 2K20, you can enjoy the rest of the match, I'm not playing it, I just decided to put the CPU to fight each other because... Uh, I know. I, I don't know how to play NBA. Honestly, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. So, guys, that's all. Thank you a lot for watching, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Blade's not the biggest, but his toughness, his toughness, mentally and physically, is unquestioned. And Kevin, growing up in Rockford, Illinois, gave him oh, that take perspective. A break. Take a break. Friends and family too gone too soon. Basketball was the path to something better. First one falls for him. And the Toronto Raptors knew in trading for Kawhi Leonard that he might not stick around. Even after his decision returned to his hometown of Los Angeles, Greg, the Raptors have to feel good about the way it all worked out for him. Kevin, the first championship in franchise history, and now they set about working their way back.
to the mountaintop. Some talented young players and quality vets, not to mention an outstanding front office. I think it'd be a mistake to count them out. It's Curry outside. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Here's Lowry. Coley Stein grabs the board. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. It's blocked. Van Vliet up top. Coley Stein defending. Van Vliet passes to Lowry. Gasol's in the post. Curry meets him. Six on the shot clock. Lowry for three. And the Raptors miss again. Golden State's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And stolen by Siakam. Curry against Lowry. Pass to Powell. Six to shoot. Got a piece of it. Here's Gasol. No good with the layup. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple layup. Coley Stein dishes to Thompson. Pass to Green. Now, here is Russell. Takes a three. A shot off that time. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. That bucket in in no time at all. Van Vliet's got seven. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Down low. Here's Thompson. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Well, Thompson makes terrific decisions. I mean, deep inside. Finds a way to play to his strength. Passes it to Van Vliet. People have already uh, predicted future MVP. Is there a surprise name that you think could win that MVP award, Chris, down the road? Oh, uh, I think there are a, a few surprises. I mean, we can go young with young guys like uh, a Trey Young or, or Luka Doncic. We can go with guys that we expect to do it, like uh, Anthony Davis, who it just seems like he's just biting at the bit. There's a few young Celtics. There's a few young Lakers that in a few years you never know what they could do especially the ones that are playing with great guys and watching their practice habits game habits stealing their uh, recipes or stealing their what they eat before the game and, and their health wise so so many guys right now that are going to be in that second tier coming up it's going to be fun to watch their growth it will so timeout called here the first for Toronto yeah Willie Colley Stein I mean last season was his best by far he was showing the effort and finishing that made him such a high pick in For a different look here. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Gasol. OG Ananobi comes in for Pascal Siakam. Andre Hollis Jefferson, he's checked in for Norman Powell. And it's Patrick McCaw in for Fred Van Vliet. Different look here for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Carly Stein. Alfonso McKinney comes in for Green. Glenn Robinson, the third, is checked in for Clay Thompson. And Alec Burks subbed in for Russell. McKinney, no good. So Ibaka will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Here's Alice Jefferson. Throws it up high. Very pretty alley-oop layup. And that's what makes Lowry a great floor leader. Just unselfish in his attitude and great awareness of how to keep his teammates involved. It's Curry outside. 
That shot missing. Now Toronto takes it the other way. This quarter has been hit or miss for him. Mostly miss. A second chance effort. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Curry's got five points so far. Toronto's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Now the pass to Hollis Jefferson. Lowry against Burks. And it's Lowry penetrating. A shot, no good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Second difference between shot clock and game clock. Pass to McCaw. Curry with some nice D. The Warriors have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Robinson against Lowry. Robinson kicks to Curry. From deep. The shot, no good. It's all tied in Toronto. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment.